this is David with Cartoon Fortress. I hope you're doing really, really well today. I'm happy, as always, to be back with you here on the channel doing an unboxing video. I put an order in recently with one of my absolute favorite labels, and that is Indicator out of the UK. These guys are absolutely fantastic. If you haven't had a chance to look at their catalog, follow the link in the description of this video and go pay them a visit. They've got a lot of great titles to offer some fantastic limited edition box sets. Uh, even their standard releases are really stellar. Um, they're offering a lot of great products. So today we're gonna be featuring uh, three different box sets and then one of the limited edition releases that comes in the, the standard Blu-ray case. So let's go ahead and show you what I got and then we'll uh, get these unboxed. So the first one, this is the standard case uh, limited edition release. This is uh, directed by Joseph Losey and stars Michael Redgrave and Anne Todd, uh, co-starring Peter Cushing and Leo McKern. This is Time Without Pity. All right, and the next one this is not a full-on box set like they usually put out. This is one film, but it comes with a, a book and a poster. So this would be akin to releases that we see from Arrow Video, uh, where they're the nice sturdy uh, boxes with the book and poster, kind of something like that. Um, but this is the limited 40th anniversary edition of Scum. And this has a really interesting story behind it. This was originally produced for, I believe, public television or something akin to public television, something like that. And uh, the, the content that was produced was a bit too uh, intense for what was uh, wanted or needed for that particular production. And so the, the filmmakers decided to uh, release it as their own film and so this is the product that we have as scum so I'm really looking forward to diving into this it was a, an unknown title to me and I jumped onto the indicator site and was looking through their catalog and came across this title it looked super interesting and and yeah just did a little bit of research on it not a ton of research I don't know all of the details but it was enough to certainly grab my attention and uh, it warranted a, a purchase for sure. Uh, so this is Scum, the limited edition release. And then the last two sets here, these are uh, full-on box sets, uh, limited, uh, of course. Uh, the first one here, this is a part of a continuing series that Indicator's been doing for quite a while now. Uh, this is Hammer, Volume 5, and uh, the subtitle on this one is Death and Deceit. Um, again, if you haven't had a chance to look at their other Hammer sets, they are absolutely stellar. I'm actually in the middle right now of watching through all of those titles, so I've, I've made it through the first set and a half. I'm halfway through volume number two, and they're really fun. Some of them are really dramatic titles. Uh, some of them are a little bit more kind of cheesy fun, but uh, certainly worth your time. and extremely well put together. So this is Hammer Volume 5. And last up, this title will be available this coming Monday, April 27th. Uh, this is a box set featuring one of my absolute favorite directors, John Ford. And this spotlights four films that he did at Columbia. So naturally, the title of this box set is John Ford at Columbia. 1935 through 1958 and as you can see uh, we have the four films in here and so this is going to be the same exact size as the hammer uh, sets or uh, you know any of the other large box sets that indicator puts out so really looking forward to diving into this one now that's all of the titles that I that I picked up in this order now, Indicator being just the awesome people that they are, they sent over a few extras. And if you've watched my other uh, Indicator coverage, you'll see 
I did a, another uh, large unboxing, picked up quite a few titles, and they sent over a tote bag. Well, in this order, I got another tote bag. So these are really high quality, uh, you know, just, just a great little add-in. So got the tote bag. And then also like last time, uh, they threw in a catalog that as you can see here, it has the advertisement for the John Ford set. And then it's nice because you can dive in and see some titles that they have available there on the back as well. So nice little addition. And then this time I got something a little bit different that I, I haven't gotten from, from them before. Uh, so they threw in a poster this is a double-sided, uh, really high quality paper poster. And this features two titles that are part of the uh, Hammer Volume 5 set. So the first one is um, the Pirates of Blood River. So you can see really, uh, well I guess you can't see. <laughs> the, the, the paper is really high quality. It's a really thick stock that they use and very colorful. And then on, like I said, this is a reversible poster. And so on the back, we have the Brigand of Kandahar. So again, really high quality artwork and just really great presentation. So this, that, that is two of the titles that are, that are featured in that set. And the Pirates of Blood River was actually my, my favorite cover. And to see it on this poster, is really fun. So that's a really great little addition that they threw in. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna jump to the other camera so we can unbox these so you know what to expect if these are titles that you wanna pick up, which I do highly suggest. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so here is our stack of films. Let's go ahead and get these unboxed. We'll go ahead and go in the order that I originally showed them to you. So first up, we have Time Without Pity. Again, this is directed by Joseph Losey, and this is one of the limited edition sets, which means that we will get a booklet included inside, as well as uh, we should have some reversible artwork. Uh, the standard editions, which are typically released uh, sometime after the limited editions are sold out, they are in slightly in a slightly different case, and then they don't come with the booklet or the reversible art but they do keep all of the supplemental materials and, and of course the film intact as they are in this set. So really nice cover here. Take a look at the artwork there. And I love this indicator banner at the top. That's always a nice touch. So here on the spine, that's what that looks like. And this is spine number 154. And jumping to the back here, it all started with a young girl's scream. Here we have the limited edition Blu-ray special features. As always, uh, there's just a ton to look forward to. So this comes uh, to us from 1957 and it has a runtime of 89 minutes. This is in black and white. And the good news is this is a region free title. So uh, no matter what region you're in, this will play on your Blu-ray player, which is great news. So jumping to the inside of the set here, we have our booklet. So here's the cover and there's the back. And I believe it stated that this is a uh, 40 page, yes, 40 page booklet. So we'll go ahead and take a quick look here. They always have great photography, great essays, uh, really a lot to get into. And the thing that I like about their booklets and their sets is that they're always these, uh, they're always the stapled uh, like actual booklets. There's some labels like uh, Criterion, which I, I absolutely love Criterion releases, um, but sometimes their booklets aren't booklets as much as they are uh, kind of a, a fold out. Sometimes they're a poster, sometimes they just fold out 
uh, kind of horizontally and then you have the essays printed on there but I really like the the true book form and of course a lot of the criterion releases do have the actual books but anyways yeah that's just a, a small touch that I I definitely prefer all right and so here is our disc as you can see we have the region free marking on there there's the disc art and then here is the reversible art which doesn't look different to me on first glance here uh, that does not look different so I'm not sure what they were going for here but I guess we'll just keep it as is a lot of times I'll flip the artwork around but there does not seem to be that need in this case okay so that is time without pity next up we have the 40th anniversary limited edition of scum so actually let's we'll go ahead and get the shrink wrap off here okay and then this does include a little bit of a J card although the J card doesn't extend uh, it does not extend all the way up the back um, so you see you just have this little uh, kind of mini J card but I will show here so this does have the limited edition numbering on it so this is number 4097 of 8000 um, now the bad thing is I, I did realize that it it left quite the uh, quite a decent amount of stickiness on the back of the box which isn't great but uh, so this film is from 1979 out of the UK and is 97 minutes and is in color now uh, this is also one that is region free I'm finding more and more that their titles are region free more so than they are region locked which is great news okay so here's the cover all right and then the spine and this is spine number 156 and then uh, here's the back let's go ahead and jump back here in here survival rules and here we have a list of course of all the the contents so just goes on for days it feels like here on the the supplements list or the special features list and yeah as mentioned before this is a 97 minute runtime all right and then on the inside of the box so we'll go ahead and stand and, and this box it's a nice rigid hardbound box that's really really nice so on the inside here we do get a poster it's like we have a double-sided poster so the first side and sorry I'll try and do my best to give you an idea of what to expect here let's move that box back a little bit so you get the same artwork as on the cover and then on the other side you get a totally different artwork so you get an idea there of what to expect so really nice poster same quality as the poster I showed you earlier okay so here is the cover of the book and this is a 100 page book if I remember right uh, no sorry 75 pages okay so there's the cover and the back and then let me just flip through here for a second to make sure there's not not anything that's going to be shocking now yeah the cover is a little bit intense yeah and as i said earlier i think this is uh, originally something that was being produced for public television or something like that about the prison system or the the corrections 
system. Um, definitely comment down below if, if you know if I'm just totally blown smoke or uh, if you might know more on the history of this particular production, I'd love to know. Um, but I do look forward to diving in and kind of understanding this a little bit more. All right, and there's some posters and then some uh, notes about the presentation and credits. All right, so really great booklet there. Um, and then we have the actual Blu-ray case here. So there's the spine, there's the cover. And then again, you have a listing, same listing as on the box of the extra features. Okay, so no booklet on the inside, of course, because we have the booklet on the outside. So here's the disc art. And then, I don't, I don't know why I showed you the bottom of the disc. I was checking for scratches like I always do. But just in case you wanna know what the underside of the disc <laughs> looks like. Uh, and then the region free marking there. And then we do get reversible artwork here. All right, and then that goes together nicely in this nice box that they provide. All right, so really nice, really nice release there. All right, up next we, nope, let's not go John Ford, let's go, we did the hammer set next. So here's the spine. Let's go ahead and open this up. These are box sets that I'm definitely definitely getting used to. As I said, I've made my way through um, six of the Hammer films, and I've, un I've enjoyed them all for different reasons. Definitely a wide range of films. Okay, so we have our belly band on the box here, and this points out the different films we have. So this is Hammer, Volume 5, Death and Deceit. So we have Visa to Canton, The Pirates of Blood River, The Scarlet Blade, and The Brigand of Kandahar. All right, there's the side, and then on the back here, so this is number 639 of 6,000, and then you have a nice little kind of thumbnail of uh, each of the films in the set. All right, and then as they always do on the top of the box, you have a listing of the film titles as well. And jumping to the back here, fabulous feats of adventure never seen before. There you have a listing of all of the special features. And here's a listing of the film titles with their runtime. So Visa to Canton, from 1960, comes in at 75 minutes. And all of these are in color. And it looks like this set, at least from the back here, this one is going to be a region locked to region B. Uh, so the second film is The Pirates of Blood River, 1962, with a runtime of 87 minutes. Next, The Scarlet Blade from 1963, runtime of 83 minutes. And last, The Brigand of Kandahar from 1965, and that is a runtime of 82 minutes. All right, so let's go ahead and get on the inside here and then give you a chance, though, to look at the cover art here. Really wonderful, as always. Um, they provide really nice artwork on these sets. All right, so we'll go ahead and set the box aside. So the first one we have here is Visa to Canton with uh, Richard Basehart, Athene, uh, Athena Sailor, and Lisa Gastoni. And uh, these, I'm assuming all of these are going to be from Columbia. Um, all right, so here's the back. So here's the 
special features you can expect with this specific title. And it says at the top here, the Western world is still rocking from a series of aircraft incidents that came close to turning the Cold War into a hot one. And the great thing here is we get a nice big booklet uh, with each of the films. All right, and there's the really awesome disc art. And again, you can see here this is region B locked. There is the reversible, whoops, reversible cover art. And then our booklet, so there's the back, there's the front, and we'll just be kind of quick on these, kind of get an idea of what you can expect looking through a few of these. They're, they're all pretty uniform in the sense that you get the photos and essays, but they're, they're really quite spectacular. All right, so up next we have the Pirates of Blood River with Kerwin Matthews, the wonderful Christopher Lee, Glenn Corbett, and uh, a few others down here. All right, so really great artwork. And as I showed you earlier, we uh, I, got, I got the poster sent to me as well for this, which is really great. All right. And on the back there, if you want to pause, you can. And we've already given uh, runtime information, but at the top here we have Daring Swashbuckling Adventure. Okay, so on the inside here, we get uh, disc art that continues from the cover so really really nice and here is our oops reversible cover art and again our awesome uh, booklets here so we have Christopher Lee on the cover there yeah and some of the books they'll come kind of banged up along the edge here and so the easiest thing to do is just to flip it and put it in that way so you have the spine going out this way so you don't get the uh, booklet more damaged. All right, so there's the Pirates of Blood River. Oh, and I guess I should mention the spine numbers on these. So we have, whoops, uh, with Visa to Canton, we have spine number 183. Pirates of Blood River, we have spine 184. Next up, we have the Scarlet Blade with uh, Lionel Jeffries, Oliver Reed, Jack Headley, and June Thornburn. And there's the cover art oops jump to the back there a fabulous feat of swashbuckling adventure never seen before all right jumping to the inside here We get similar disc art here, continuing over from the cover. There's the reversible cover option. And finally, our booklet. So there's the cover and the back. and flip the booklet again. It's interesting, sometimes they will come with the booklet flipped like that, but most of the time they will not. All right, and then the 
final film in this box set, we have The Brigand of Kandahar with Yvonne Romaine and uh, Catherine Woodville. And then, oh, sorry, maybe look up top here. We have Ronald Lewis, Oliver Reed, and uh, Duncan Lamont. So really great looking cover there. Like the colors. And jump into the back here. Young and old will thrill to the thought of a ride to adventure with Brigand of Kandahar. I always love in advertising for old films how dramatic everything sounds. They, to really grab your attention, um, a lot of it's just really kind of fun, cheesy style like that. So as you can see here, we do have the, the booklet flipped in this one to the right, to the direction that I prefer. Um, so let's take a look at the disc art here first. Really great. So the, the art on this disc actually carries over from the reversible option that we have here, which is really fun. And then here we have the back of our booklet and the front. All right. So that was the Brigand of Kandahar. And that concludes this box set. So again, these all go in nicely with the belly band on there. We'll go ahead and oops. Can I get everything, <laughs> everything moved aside here? So we have room for the John Ford at Columbia set. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this absolutely beautiful set here. John Ford, again, is, is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite directors. And so to see them announce a John Ford set was just awesome because I actually have not seen any of these titles from Mr. Ford. So we have The Whole Town's Talking, The Long Gray Line, Gideon's Day, and The Last Hurrah. And just like on the other set, well, let's see if we can, that one's on there, pretty good. All right, so yeah, so there's the belly band, there's the side, same thing on the other side, and then on the back we have number 264 of 6,000. I think that's the lowest number I've ever gotten on one of my limited sets from them. And again, the street date on this one, if you're watching this, this video, it's, it's a couple of days out uh, at, at the time that I'm filming this. So this set comes out on Monday, April 27th. All right, so let's set that aside and take a look at this really nice looking cover. All right, so we have films from 1935 to 1958. And I'll give you a chance to pause that and look over the supplements if you'd like. At the top it says, Motion Pictures to Cheer. So first up we have The Whole Town's Talking from 1935, uh, 93 minutes, and that is in black and white. Second, we have The Long Gray Line from 1955. So we have a 20 year jump between film one and film two. And The Long Gray Line from 1955 is 137 minutes. Uh, next up we have Gideon's Day from 1958. That's 91 minutes. And last up we have The Last Hurrah from 1958. And that is 121 minutes. Uh, Whole Town's Talking is black and white, Long Gray Line is color, Gideon's Day is color, and The Last Hurrah is black and white. 
and this set is region B locked. So both of the big box sets are region locked. The other two titles that we've covered are region free. Okay, so set the box aside there and take a look at the first film. Uh, so first up we have The Whole Town's Talking with Edward G. Robinson. Great to see him on there. Really great cover art there. There's the spine. And here's the special features for this title in particular. I So the top here says, blazing out of the headlines, crashing across the screen, the most exciting story in years. You can see what I'm talking about here with their kind of the marketing and advertising. I absolutely love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump to the inside here. Well, let's move these over. All right, and our artwork, similar to the front cover there. And we get some really intriguing reversible art there. I really, really like that one actually. Probably end up reversing this one. Okay, and then we have our booklet. So there's the, whoops, there's the back, there's the front. Love, love, love these booklets. Okay, and we'll just start putting these back here. We'll do it that way. All right, and the second one is the long gray line. So this is the image that was picked for the actual cover art of the box set. This has Tyrone Power and Maureen O'Hara, one of my favorites. I grew up, uh, of course, watching her on Disney's The Parent Trap was was the big one for me, but she's just uh, such a such a great actress, such a great lady so uh, the long gray line this is filmed in cinemascope and is in color it reaches from West Point right to your heart there's a list of the special features included on this release all right jumping to the inside here there we have a great picture of th this is seems like Every picture I see of John Ford is him just looking like such a cool cat there. Cigar in hand. That was a normal, normal thing for him. All right, so here's the disc art, nice and colorful. And there's the reversible option. And again with that one, oh yeah, no, that's definitely different. Um, so there's the back of the booklet with Mr. Ford and his trusty cigar. And here's the cover. Really like the cover on this one. And yes, of course, the eye patch. People don't get much cooler than John Ford. I could never pull off the eye patch. All right, so there's the booklet on that one. And that one was already reversed, which is awesome. All right, just two more films to go here and then we'll wrap up. So here we have uh, Jack Hawkins and Diane Foster in Gideon's Day. So there's the cover art. Jumping to the back here. 24 tension taut hours in the life of a top crime fighter. Right, and there's our discard. 
and oops, sorry. There's the reversible artwork. And there's the back of our booklet, John Ford with cigar with a cigar. And there's the cover. All right. And oh, what am I thinking? All right. And last, but certainly not least, we have the great Spencer Tracy in The Last Hurrah. As you can see, this has a large cast. There's our cover. Not a huge fan of the cover art on this one. Hopefully we get a better option with the reversible art. Um, it says here, for everyone old enough to vote or kiss a babe of any age. All right, <laughs> and yeah, there's the special features you can expect there. Jumping to the inside. Here is our disc art. There's the reversible option. I feel like that's a little better than the main cover, so I'll probably flip that one over. And then there's the back of the booklet. There's the front. Big Spencer Tracy fan. It's a mad, 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 mad world. And guess who's coming to dinner? And uh, the other films that he did with Katherine Hepburn, they had quite the partnership. Just such a wonderful talent. Whoops. There we go. All right. So that is the last title in the John Ford at Columbia set. So again, uh, this one, whoops. So again, this one will be available on Monday, April 27th. That's the John Ford at Columbia. Next up we have Hammer Volume 5, Death and Deceit. That is available today. And then we have the limited set for Scum. And last we have Time Without Pity. So some really great releases here. And again, if you haven't had a chance to look at uh, indicators catalog or anything that they have to offer follow the link in the video description you will not be disappointed they've got a lot of great titles um, I would especially point out uh, any of their limited edition titles that are still in stock if you have any interest in those I would jump on those first as they do uh, they do not continue production after those go after they're out of print so uh, obviously once they're out of print but as you can see, these have a limited run. The box sets are always 6,000 releases. And then uh, the Scum box set, that was an 8,000 unit release. So still won't last forever. But anyways, uh, just some more wonderful releases from Indicator. As always, I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I do appreciate it. And if this is content that you find enjoyable, if you're into film collecting, uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. There's going to be a lot more content like this. And also uh, hit that like button and the bell icon. That will notify you when I do upload new content. And I'd love to have any comments that you have to add. And we can go ahead and continue that conversation down below. But until next time, this is David signing off with Cartoon Fortress. And I hope you have a wonderful day.